Now, where else are you going to go for this kind of information? Because frankly, most of you don't know what's the difference between a clitoris and a penis. You think, of course I know the difference between a clitoris and a penis. I can see one and not know what I'm looking at. But what's the anatomical difference? Let's start with the clitoris. Now, the clitoris has a shaft. Some of you might not even know that. And it has a le legs. It has two legs, actually, kind of like that. So the glands is the end point of the clitoris. The shaft is the, is the length of its body. And the crura, or crus, I'm going to show that that connects into there. The crura means legs. Crus means leg. So it has legs, a shaft, and an end point, which is called the, the glands. Now, the glands means acorn in Latin, but it's really not much of an acorn. Now, if we were to draw the clitoris face on in cross section, it would look kind of like that. If we, if we cut it here and looked at it face on, why are there two parts? Because of the two legs. So the corpora cavernosa, or the cavernous bodies, uh, is what the anatomists call these two parts. The cavernous bodies come together and fuse. There's a fascial fusion between the two to form this shaft. So it's fused at the shaft and divided in the legs. So each corpus cavernosum, or cavernous body, come together as a pair and form the glands and the shaft and the crura, or legs, of the clitoris. Now. The penis has the exact same structures. So it might be a little more elongated, right? And then there's a the crus, and then there's the leg on this side, similarly. So we have the same sort of structure, glands, shaft, and crura. But wait, folks, that's not all. There's more structure built into the penis. So if we did a cross section here of a penis, we'd actually have something like this. Kind of a peace sign, more of a look. So we have the corpora cavernosa just like here, but we also have an additional spongy body called the corpus spongiosum, or the, sp the spongy body. So what is the analog over here? Here we have also what we call the vestibular bulbs. The vestibular bulbs form the vestibule, or the entrance to the vagina. So they're cavernous bodies also. They're erectile tissues. And they're continuous with the base of the clitoris and they share the same nerves. So the vestibular bulbs here, and then what else? There's another spongy body that lives right here. There's a little hole in the middle of it, and urination happens through that little hole. And this spongy body here is called the urethral sponge because it surrounds the urethra that passes the urine from the bladder out into the world. So now we're looking at even more of the structures here. And this is very important because we don't technically urinate out of the clitoris, but we do urinate out of the penis. So how does that happen? Well, imagine that this spongy body here were to elongate were to elongate and follow the shaft of the corpus cavernosa so that the, ah, that's not a very good marker, is it? So let's do it this way. This, this here elongates and follows the shaft so much so that it even caps it. And you have this uh, tripartite 
spongy bodies here, the corpora cavernosa and the corpus spongiosum, which is fused here. Instead of being open for the vagina, it's fused and forms what we call the bulb of the penis. So at the base of the penis, there's a spongy bulb, which represents the fused version of the vestibular bulbs and the corpus and the uh, rather the the urethral sponge here has elongated with the fused vestibular bulbs to form the the glands of the penis. So what's the difference between the clitoris and the penis? Well, there are structures that are the same, but they've morphed or changed. So we have an exact pairing of the glands, shaft, and crura of the corpora cavernosa. So the cavernous bodies are the same, but additionally, the penis has an extended version of the vestibular bulbs here fused and a stretched out version of the urethral sponge here capping, capping the cavernous bodies to create a pathway that you urinate out of a penis, but you don't urinate out of a clitoris. Both structures are uh, erogenous zones in the human body, but they're built a little differently, but they're built out of similar homolog homologous tissues from embryological development. So there you go. The difference between the penis and the clitoris uh, drawn here in the most simple way that I can uh, in order to help you understand the anatomy of your pars intima a little better. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.